Jimmers dinners. Right, okay, so what we basically got is uh, my friend Sarah for her birthday has said, I love things Mediterranean, so I've done a fish dish for her. I thought, what could you do that's Mediterranean? So what I'm gonna try and do, and I've never done this before, this one could be a real car crash Jimmers dinner. I'm a little bit nervous if I'm honest. So, Mediterranean chicken ballotine, or ballotine of chicken. Basically, how do you do it? So the first thing is I want to do it wrapped in. I've taken all kinds of things Mediterranean, like parma ham, chicken breast, and the stuffing, which I'll obviously talk you through in a minute. So first off, lay a bit of cling film. <laughs> I'm really worried about this. Lay a bit of cling film on a chopping board, right? Get your parma ham onto the cling film, which then makes it easier to basically peel off. And what you want to do is obviously you're going to put the chicken on top of this. It's like layering it so you can roll it, I would hazard a guess. So you take your next bit, you get that on there, you get your thing, you peel it off, and then you get your next one. This one is a degree of skill in it on process. How it, how you do it is obviously you make the chicken ballotine and then obviously the cooking of it, you poach it. So the chicken stays really moist. You could oven cook it if you want to, but from what I reckon, if you're going to wrap it in cling film to get a really tight, like, you know, like how you get smoked cheese in a, in a roll, I would guess that you sort of poach it in water. Well, we're going to find out. I mean, this, this one could be an absolute nightmare. So, what you do? I'm oh, sorry, I'm going to eat that bit because... Mm. Okay, so... I'm going to have in trouble. Oh, did you get that then? I hope you did. Shit. <laughs> Ten bibs. <laughs> Donate for bibs. Right, okay, so you've got four bits of parma ham there. Get rid of them. Okay, the chicken breast. What do you do? Lay that on the board. I right, can get that there for the minute. Brilliant. Chicken breast. What you'd normally do is when you look at a chicken breast, I'm guessing, I mean, I've cut this one already. Right, but on a fresh chicken breast, You've got, if you cut it towards that way, you're fucked, basically, because you've got the goujon part of the chicken breast there. But if you cut it towards left to right, you've got the natural seal of the chicken, yeah. So when you fold it over and you do what I'm about to do to it. So I've cut it through the goujon and towards the actual proper part of the chicken, right? Don't split the chicken because you're buggered if you do. What you do is you then lay the chicken out so it's flat side down, like that. You get another bit of cling film. And you get, which is arrived off Amazon to a meat hammer. And what you're basically doing is putting that over the chicken. that over the chicken so it doesn't and then get your meat hammer and basically I would assume bash him flat without bashing your way through it. I don't know how long I do this. I'm having fun right now. Right. 
you can now see we split the chicken, so we have fucked this up already. What you basically do is take the chicken that's there. How's this gonna go now? Right, this could be a car crash, people. We'll keep that bit there for the pasta, but I'm gonna do that goes with it. Bring that on there. Right. This could be a world first on Jimmer's dinners. How to annihilate a chicken ballotine. Right, okay, so you take your bashed out chicken and you lay it onto your parma ham. Like yay. Okay? It's all lovely, it's all sexy, it's all cool in the game. Okay, right, the filling for it. We take taste of the Mediterranean. In here, I have got feta cheese, basil, olives, sun-dried tomatoes, a little bit of truffle oil, not too much because that's really overpowering, um, some garlic, and some sun-dried tomato pesto as well. And what you basically do is you will spoon that into the middle of the ballotine. If you do too much of it, I would imagine when you're rolling it and tucking it, you will also end up in a world of hurt. The rest of it you can put into the pasta that accompanies it, so no problem. But I reckon, oh, pine nuts would also be good if you got them, but I haven't got any. So I've just gone with what I've got in the fridge, really. Okay, cool. So, uh, salt and pepper. Season all over. And pepper. Right there next to me. Right, now this is the bit where it could really, really make me look like a doofus. Okay, a bit of that in the middle. Lovely. Okay, cool. So, quite nervous. <laughs> I'm really nervous about this bit. Okay, so, the poaching water as well, what you want to do, if you've got a meat thermometer, you don't want it boiling, that's too hot. You basically want to poach it first and then you put colour on it afterwards to crisp up the chicken. So what you do is you then lift your cling film and you roll it. Okay. And if you get it right, what you do, oh my God, is you pull it back towards you tuck it all in like it's actually actually do you know what that's not then you get the cling film out so you see that you're basically rolling it you're pulling it towards you so you're using the cling film to tuck it all in and then Pulling it out. So you end up with this really nice clean fold, which I'm really fucking delighted with. <laughs> and Sarah's going like that behind the camera, which is really good. Okay, so I guess then you roll it a bit more and you just use the clean film to pull it so you get a roll. That's actually not that hard at all. Okay, so then. Oh, hang on, I might have just fucked it doing that. Hang on. Right, so now I'm really determined to get this really, really cool chicken ballotine. So what you do... Uh, I'm saying what you do, like I know what I'm doing, and I, and I really don't, folks. Okay, so you've got a really clean roll. So what you do then, I guess you pull that bit over, and then you fold that bit over there, and then you roll it back towards you the other way. Okay, and how you tighten it up? Now that you've bound it, I guess you would twist it, like yay. And 
you would twist it like yay and you would automatically tighten it up like that way so one side would go I don't know I mean, there's a lot of it there keep rolling it roll it out roll it out okay and just twist it keep twisting it tightening it up so all the time what you're doing when you're twisting it I guess is you're tightening up the ends don't split the cling film though because obviously then you're probably in a world of hurt as well and what you're doing that way is you're twisting it the other way and all the time you're firming it up you're pushing it together so one goes one way that goes that way hang on and that goes the other way what you end up doing thing where you can just oh my god you end up with some uh, penile looking thing <laughs> here on Jimmer's dinners this is how we make donkey dick <laughs> with uh, Mediterranean ingredients yeah so do you know what though I'm actually quite satisfied that that so you're rolling it, roll it, keep on rolling it, keep on tightening it. <laughs> Jim has done has gone pro league. Yes. Right. And then you end up with a really firm Jimmer. Uh, not to refer to myself in the third person, is absolutely... Uh, what am I doing? It? No, 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 hang on. I am absolutely delighted with that. So just roll it. You hold, you pinch the ends. You roll it and you're pressing it in as you're doing it. And you end up with a really compacted... Leave the ends on. That doesn't matter put it in your poaching liquid boom shakalaka <sighs> <laughs> okay right so the next thing I guess we'll do is pasta so what I'm going to do is a bit of egg pasta with just some spinach in it dead simple and what we'll do is we'll mix a bit of uh, pesto through that just as an accompaniment to it nothing major nothing sinister come back in about um, 10 minutes and we'll see if we've got a car crash on our hands or not. We'll do it with the rest of the chicken that we cut off. We'll do it with the rest of the stuffing that we cut off as a pesto through the pasta. And hopefully, we're actually gonna end up with a completely car crash Jimmer's dinner that actually ends up looking really, really good and quite professional. Booyah, see you in a bit.